Hello fellow spark drivers, hope you're doing well, staying safe out there, making a lot of bank. So, I finally got my one account activated. If you're not familiar with that, check your notifications, uh, your email. About a week ago today, it was announced that daily pay would be a thing starting on Monday, this past Monday. And it's very exciting, but I was like, there's going to be a catch, because it wasn't through branch, so that's a waste of time. I don't know if things fell through with them, what happened, there's no communication about that. That is still an option, though. You don't have to sign up for daily pay. It is optional. But I never liked how they took away direct deposit. Keep that as an option, at least. Anyways, uh, in today's video... I'm going to be talking about some things about one and if anything just to help you because maybe you had the same issue I did getting your account activated. So it didn't say apply or register for an account. It said click here to activate your one account. So I figured great. Uh, it's not through branch. Maybe they're a partner of branch. I don't know. Maybe branch is going under. Anyways, I was like, you know what? Let's get this done problem is I couldn't edit my birth date. It had it listed as like June 5th, 2021. Now I just turned 40. I could pass from my mid late 20s. But no way I'm passing for two. Anyways, I knew that was going to be an issue. But I clicked to, uh, you know, activate my account. And of course it was denied. And I tried again and again but I couldn't edit that field. So then this week I got an email saying, we found the error, we've corrected it. You're welcome to reapply or, you know, try and activate your account now. I'm thinking, great. So I did, same problem. And then uh, a couple days ago I called support and it was frustrating because I have nothing against, you know, people with accents, you know, from other countries and that. There is that language barrier though. And this person was talking really fast and didn't seem to understand. I was calling because I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know the issue if you could correct it on your end. But they kept saying, you know, they're reading from a script. I understand. I get it, but it's just frustrating. It's like, just talk to me, you know. And he said, well, I'm going to send you the link to activate your account. And it's like, oh, no, but I've already tried that. Here's the issue. And if you don't know what to do, just tell me. Don't go on and on like, oh, I'll send you the link. It's like, no, 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 that's not what I'm calling about. So that call ended and didn't go anywhere. And then today after work, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this set up eventually. There's got to be something I can do. They happened to have fixed that birth date field. They updated it to my correct birthday. And... I was able to activate no problem. Now, another reason I want to make this video is because there is another catch, but it's nothing bothersome. It's just like, how many accounts do we need, really? So, what I did is once I activated my one account, immediately I thought, well, how am I going to transfer money to my bank account? And I set that up. And they use a service called uh, Plaid. It looks like Plaid might be played. I don't know. But I use that for, I think, for a podcast. I thought I was going to get rejected because they're like, you already have an uh, email associated with an account. But I don't think I ever collected anything anyways. So, uh, so I got that set up. They use Plaid to connect to your bank account. And that way you can, you know... You can send money, you can transfer, whatever, and you just link up your bank account. But then I thought, because I pay my rent and my bills uh, through PayPal, and that's easy to set up. And that way, if you do get fees or whatever associated with uh, transferring money, I just go through PayPal because that's an easy way to send and receive money. I know I sound like an ad right now, but... Um, Maybe even with Venmo, too. I've used that in the past. But just keep that in mind. Because, you know, with Branch, it's just like sending money to your bank accounts. 
I mean, when you got big paychecks, like one recently was around $800, and they took, uh, they don't take like $100 or anything, but when you have like a $15, $20 fee just for taking money out, it's like, this should be free. Especially since they lowered our wages and are trying to be sneaky about it. Listen to uh, Spark Lately number two. I talk about that. Because that's BS. So the better your metrics, the higher, the greener your metrics, the lower pay you get? Anyways, we got some good news with the daily pay. Um, I'm still disappointed that there was no communication over the 22-month delay, whatever it was. But anyways, it's here. And I hope all this helps. So I downloaded the app, and I made sure all my information is up to date, my address, phone number, and it's great because it automatically synced your uh, Spark Driver account, so the earnings will go into there. And for me, it starts on Monday, which is just a few days away, which is great, because you know the pay period ends on Sunday, so that will go into my branch account on Tuesday. But I also want to talk about uh, tips, because some of you are probably like, oh, when do we get those? Nice thing is, from what I've read, from what I understand, so the trip earnings are guaranteed wages. We know that. That's your base. You'll see like one trip, you get six fifty. Two trips, you get eight fifty. whatever it is for you. That goes into your one account each day. And the tips, you know, those are confirmed the next day. So those will go in the following day once they're approved by the customer. And people still have two weeks to add a tip, so that'll be like a nice bonus. If you look in your account and you're like, why don't I have 20 extra dollars or whatever? But anyways, so no worries there, because I was worried maybe that's going to be just every Tuesday. But um, from what I've read, uh, it's going to happen. So basically, you'll get paid like every day, even if you take a day off your your tips will go in. And the nice thing about Sam's Club, I don't know about Home Depot and Advanced Auto Parts because I haven't done deliveries for them or uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. That was just added. But anyways, I bring up Sam's Club because remember, those tips are approved same day. And around here, like 2, 3 p.m., we start getting offers for the dot-com orders. Um... You know, when you have like three, four, five plus trips in one offer. And those are some good bank. And on weekends, I'll go out around 6 a.m. Because sometimes you'll get some high paying Sam's Club offers. And that's a great way to start the weekend. If before your first pickup at Walmart, you're already like, just an example, $20, $30 ahead of the game, that's a great feeling. So those will go in the same day, which is nice. And if you look through the cash back options, I was looking specifically for uh, gas like Chevron or whatever, but uh, they have one that expires the end of July and uh, it's for Sam's Club. It's like there's one option for 8% cash back and 12%. And I'm thinking like, well, I'm going to go for the 12%. <laughs> It's more, but that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, because I know at least one of the Walmarts here, I was asking an employee because they just did a remodel on the store, but they moved the pickup area, and next to it, by the automotive center, they're working on something, and I'd asked if it's a gas station. She said yes. So that would be really cool. Even if we could save elsewhere, you know, on gas... And because I'll tell you, daily pay motivates me to stay out even longer. And, you know, I've done like, I think the longest day I've done is a little over 12 hours, maybe like 15 one Sunday. But it's that motivation because it's like, I don't want to make a little bit of money and then stop. Daily pay, cash back, keep us going. Bigger, better offers, higher metrics. Be competitive. Because you never know. I mean... People listen to this like 10 years, 20 years into the future. Maybe they're like, oh, wow, Spark took over everything. 
or they bought out everybody Walmart you just you never know like we deliver everything you know but at this rate I don't see that happening anytime soon but I'm just glad that I feel more motivated now and you can go out and now I don't have to do DoorDash because I would do that when money's really tight like last week I needed gas money I turned on DoorDash and you know the Uber Eats you can turn it on at any time and you can only work like you know 12 hours or so and you have to take a break or whatever but with DoorDash they have these schedule blocks now and last Friday that was the first time there were no offers now you could sit there and wait till it says dash now but that was scary and I have been looking for other work in that but um now I feel more secure I can just go out and work get gas money and uh but yeah anyways it's a, it's a better feeling and it's about time but you know what no more complaining now when you're setting up your account there is an option to set up a direct deposit and I haven't looked into it um, besides looking at the basic screen and setup options but there's a form you can fill out or you can connect directly with an employer um, one of them was Uber which is interesting because I'm sure like many of you I mean I do DoorDash and Uber Eats as well um, besides you know Walmart Spark but uh, so there is that option, which is nice. Because, again, just give people options. And it seems like all this could have been done with Branch. I'm really confused. Because Branch is, you know, no wait pay. And it's like we were waiting for that daily pay. But anyways, again, just uh, options. And know that you can set that up. Uh, me, I'm just going with the, the uh, daily pay. Because I've been waiting for that. And it's beneficial. But it's up to you, though. If you're in a financial position to where you're like, well, I do this job for extra money. I don't really need it, you know, on the daily. Yeah, set it up or just keep your uh, branch accounts. Don't even look into one. If you just want, the, uh, you know, your earnings every Tuesday. But just keep in mind with branch, when you transfer that into your bank account, it's not considered direct deposit. So you may get that uh, maintenance fee depending on which bank you're with. So maybe just set it up with one, the direct deposits. But anyways, hope that helps. And if you do want to connect one to something like PayPal, um, if you want the transfers to be instant, I suggest connecting the one card. And if you don't have your card yet, you can actually access the numbers, the security code and the expiration date on the app. So you can enter those details in your PayPal and it connects them instantly. Because if you connect a bank account, transfers can take, you know, between three and five days, which can be frustrating. So hope that helps. So in closing, uh, once you get your account activated, uh, make sure and verify your personal information. And I would do what I did, get your bank account or accounts connected right away because for me Monday a few days away that's when the trip earnings start hitting the account and it'll be nice because I'll get the card the one card sometime next week which would be nice to have because uh, I can just transfer to PayPal no fees or anything you know to pay my rent and that and I think the card makes a big difference because there's another delivery service I've delivered for for geez, about four and a half years and there's no card I don't believe I know DoorDash has one but anyways uh, it's good to be competitive you know but with the daily pay it's great because I go through about at least twenty dollars in gas a day and you can make good money off that like today I hit a hundred dollars by noon and I got to share that with somebody so I'm glad you're listening but, you know, I went through maybe a quarter tank, which is pretty unusual, but I had a few shopping trips. But point being, if I just burned through gas today, didn't have any money in my accounts, at least with daily pay, I'm not sure if it's 
how it works as far as the schedule when the money drops in your one account. I think it's after every trip it goes in, which is really convenient. Because if you need gas money or you need food money or something, and apparently there are no fees associated, no monthly minimum in your account, which is really nice. So I think it's going to be worth the wait based on all the terms and conditions I read. And hopefully I can just use this account because I have a couple of bank accounts and it's like, well, maybe I don't need those because they're not really building interest or anything anyways, not much. So I hope this helps and uh, good luck. Hopefully you got your account set up already. Let me know how it's going for you. If it's like every trip, you know that money goes in your account and... Yeah, just let me know your experience. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, thanks for watching and listening. I will see you next time. And keep on sparking.